Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Kitchen Design Experts. This is the channel that tells you all you need to know about kitchens, kitchen design and kitchen appliances. Today we're talking about combination ovens and we're going to make sure that you buy the right machine for you. You've got to make sure it will do exactly what you want it to do. Now then, first of all, let's ascertain what it is you expect from a combination oven and why we sell so many of them. We sell so many of them because they tend to solve a lot of problems. When we're discussing with our clients on site what cooking system do they want, invariably we get told that they want two separate oven cavities. Now, the main reason for this is that many recipes require, if you say you're doing a Sunday lunch or something of that nature, many recipes require different temperatures to cook at. You could want to do your chicken at 180 degrees, but you want some roast potatoes which need 230. So having just one oven compartment set at one temperature doesn't cut the mustard. So basically to have that extra oven capacity is well worthwhile for all types of cooking. A lot of other people say to us, look, I could be cooking something in my oven, I don't want to grill something and it's no good having a single cavity oven with the grill in there because it limits you very much as to what you can do. So, so many of our clients say to us, I want a double oven. And then we ask the question, do you want a microwave? Uh, yes, yes please. Can it go over the top of the oven perhaps? Where do we put it? And that always causes a problem. Either we try and put it in the same housing as the oven, but if you have a double oven, and you set the microwave at the right height that's accessible, the main oven is set too low and it defeats the object of having uh, a built-in oven in the first place. So, where do you put the microwave? Do you get a freestanding microwave and just plonk it on the worktop? Not great with kitchen design, it's not something we advocate, so we look for alternatives. And this is where the combination, the true, em emphasis on the word true, the true combination oven comes into play. Basically what a combination oven gives you is an oven on its own, cooks just like the oven in a double oven, an oven cavity just the same as any other oven. It gives you a grill, a proper grill, either half width or full width and it'll do the same job as the grill you'd normally get in any oven and it gives you a microwave. Three appliances in one. I could go on, and in a later video I will, about what we call combination cooking, where you can actually have the oven on alongside the microwave, or the grill on alongside the microwave. And that's one of, another of the major features of combination ovens. But that's not the topic of today's video. So if we combine, let's say, a single oven with a combination oven, effectively that's giving you two ovens, two grills, and a microwave, everything you need. Now you can either, as in this case here, put a single oven next to a combination oven, but you'll notice the combination oven is a little bit smaller in height than the actual single oven, so we tend to put something in the nature of a warming drawer underneath the combination oven, so everything lines through. But by far the most popular way of doing this is simply putting the combination oven on top of the single oven in the same housing. The only thing you have to be careful of is to make sure that the combination oven, because the door drops down and is hot, is set at the right height for you. And we have done a video on that, uh, see above. Now then, that's why we sell combination ovens. It gives you an oven, a grill and a microwave, all in one 45 centimetre high compartment. Now then, if I was to take you back 18 months, 24 months, we had, the kitchen industry as a whole had, major, major problems getting hold of appliances. And one of the worst appliances to actually buy was the combination oven. And we used to sell one of these in every other kitchen we fit. So this gave us major problems. But our supplier said to us, wait a minute, Robin, we've got an alternative for you and it's available and it's a little less expensive. So we had a look at it. We thought, wow, yes, let's buy some of those in. And we did. Now then, 
this is where the problem lies. And a lot of the problem is simply in the wording of the description. And you have to be ever so careful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read out the two different descriptions. One for the combination of them that we always used to buy, but wasn't available. And one for the one that seemingly was replacing it. One second. I'm going to read them so I don't get them wrong. Now then, the oven that we normally buy would, and I'm using Bosch appliances now as an example, and it's their terminology, but it also applied to nearly every other major brand of appliance. The oven that we would normally use was called a multifunction oven with microwave combined. Now that gave us, as I've mentioned before, an oven, a grill, and a microwave. Now then, we were, it was suggested to us that this particular model, this other model, would do the same job. And the description of that model was microwave combination oven, microwave plus hot air oven plus grill facilities. Now then, to me, and I'm sure to you, that sounds as though it does the same sort of job. It's got all three functions, oven, grill, microwave. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I'll just talk about one particular job because uh, this one comes to mind and this is where we actually found out we'd made such a huge mistake. Now, bear in mind I've been doing this for 50 years and if I'm going to make this mistake, there's a good chance you are. Hence, that's why we're doing this video. Now then, this particular lady wanted, definitely wanted to have the facility of a separate oven and a separate grill. She did lots of baking and then she'd be cooking tea at the same time and she asked me, directly could she use this machine as an oven and could she use it just as a grill and I innocently said yes of course you can no problem anyway we fit it and I got a phone call the day after in actual fact what we supplied was a machine that was essentially a microwave it had oven and grill backup to help brown the microwave food but essentially, it wasn't meant to be used as an oven or a grill on its own. To give you an example, in the bottom, there was a turntable, like you get in many microwaves, and there was just one wire shelf, which was fixed. There wasn't any adjustable shelf positions. It was a, it was a wire shelf fixed at the bottom, like you get in most microwaves. So basically, what we'd offered the client wasn't going to do what she wanted it to do. This was just a super duper top end microwave only. You can tell, well, when I went to see it immediately, I could tell that this was not the oven we expected to supply. When you looked at the interior, see this picture here. When you looked at the interior, basically it was a stainless steel interior, as I say, with a turntable. It didn't look like an oven. It, it was just a microwave. But it did have this hot air oven and microwave backup. And that was what was in the description. But patently, it wasn't going to do the job. So unfortunately, we had to say to the guy, look, we'll take this back and you're going to have to wait for your combination oven to come. And she did wait. She was very, very patient. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. And uh, we, we sorted the problem. I ended up with six of these super duper microwaves in stock. Uh, because I couldn't obviously sell them uh, to people as what I call proper combi ovens. So how do you, apart from reading the description, which actually, it doesn't tell you very much either, it's very misleading. Apart from reading the description, how do you know? How do you know what you're getting? Well, the interiors are the main difference. And have a good look, if you can, at the interiors. I know it's difficult if you're buying your appliances on a website. They don't show you interiors. So if you can possibly try your best to get to a kitchen studio or an appliance supplier where the actual model is on display, that will save you a lot of heartache. Now, I'll put the two pictures up side by side of these interiors so you can see what they look like. Now, obviously, when you look at that, straight away, one of them looks like a microwave. There's no mistaking it. And the other one looks like the, an interior of an oven. It, it looks essentially like the interior of a single oven, just the same. It's got adjustable shelf positions. It's got perhaps a catalytic lining to it. It might have a fan at the back uh, because it's a hot air oven as well. It's quite obvious when you open it, it's what it does. The other way, obviously, if you're buying a kitchen, you're applying at the same time, 
please speak to your kitchen designer and say to him, look, this machine has to function separately as an oven and as a grill as well as a microwave and take their advice. Uh, hopefully, they've all learnt the lessons that I learnt. Uh, if not, at least you've got it in writing that yeah, this is what you want. And if you don't get what you want, they're going to have to change it for you. These machines are very expensive. You do want to make sure you get the machine that's right for you and does the job that you want it to do. So please be wary. Double check what it is you're buying uh, and read the description very carefully. One tip, you can, with most of the major uh, brands of appliances, you can go onto their website and download the, ins the instruction booklet. And that will tell you, if you've got the patience to read it, that will tell you how you use the machine, what the machine is actually capable of. And that's a fail-safe, really. If you do that, you make, you're knowing you're buying the right machine for you. Now, I hope that's been of interest to you. I hope it's going to be some help. And I really do hope that it uh, saves you some heartache and that you don't buy the wrong combination oven. Thanks for your time. Look forward to seeing you again. That's all for now. Bye-bye.